Hey guys, what we have here is a demonstration of a couple of uh, high strain composite tape springs between a couple of panels. So you can imagine expanding this out to uh, perhaps more tape springs across a single joint and definitely more panels in this direction and much larger. Um, the system that this replicates uh, would be about four times this scale. So this is a quarter scale model. Um, and these tape springs are um, relatively low torque output compared to what would be used in a typical flight application. Um, and that is because the tape spring material we used is this bi-stable material. So this material is designed such that it's stable in the deployed state, but it's also stable in the stowed state. So I can set it on the table there and it stays stable in that state. So what that translates to is the torque output, its, it's um, motivation to deploy itself is pretty low uh, when it's rolled in an equal sense fashion. So we call this equal sense um, when we're deploying it um, cup to cup or packaging it cup to cup, I should say. Opposite sense is the opposite direction and it has a higher torque output in that direction. Um, if I were to spool it up in this direction, it would not be nice to by stable equal sense. So what that translates to is the behavior of this guy um, in the equal sense dynamically it will deploy all the way but statically if I kind of force it to stall out here it won't deploy against gravity certainly and it even because it's stable in that state um, even if I turn it vertically it will stay in that state and not deploy all the way. So, in, an app, in a flight application, that wouldn't be desirable, of course, even if the baseline deployment was opposite sense. Um, what could happen is you could overshoot um, that opposite sense and then stall out in this direction, uh, which isn't a scenario you would want. So what you would do is choose a laminate that has a higher torque output in the equal sense direction, a laminate that's not designed to be bi-stable. Um, Alternatively, you know, if we were to use these tapes, you could have um, tapes oriented in the opposite direction so that some of them are opposite sense and some of them are opposite sense. But I think enough said on that. Um, the laminate is very tailorable. We can design it to have a much higher torque output, which we'll also summarize in the table. Um, basically, um, pretty straightforward to use this thing and do demonstrations. Um, you can just grab onto it, you can pluck it in either direction, and you won't damage anything by doing that. Um, you can flatten it all the way in its natural state. Uh, the radius here is larger than what's required to bring these panels coincident, but you can just force them coincident, uh, which is what would be done. In application, we would use a, a tie-down device, a preload device, to preload these panels together. First motion would be the panel separating, and the next motion would be deployment. And you can do that in either direction. We love the panels all the way together. Um, another uh, thing we can do here with these high strain composites is we can add conductors. So the laminate itself is very tailorable, tailorable to get much higher torque output um, just in the laminate design itself, but we can also increase thickness to get higher torque output. We can also embed conductors. So this is the same uh, high temperature pre-preg material with some specific fillers in it and uh, a hybrid of different fibers. Some are carbon fibers, some are higher strain uh, glass-like fibers. And these are four embedded um, copper foil conductors with a silver coating. This example has one wide uh, copper foil conductor with a high current carrying capacity. Um, and I think that summarizes it. Uh, it's basically made with a low-cost um, honeycomb eighth-inch core panel and this um, uh, bi-stable composite slit tube we had lying around. Um, and it provides a nice demo for just um, understanding how a panel deployment system can work with these tape screws. That's it.